creatures, caverns, and crafting. Today we're going to take another page from our Mutant Crawl Classic handbook to make an Aether Squid. Aether Squids are giant leviathans of the sky that rain down death by using their holographic skin to blend into unsuspecting thunderstorms. Luckily these have nothing to do with Japanese hentai and we're going to be crafting one using some basic materials today. We'll start this project off by buying some acrylic friction rods. These are 3 8 by 10 inches. You get a whole bag of about seven or eight of these. Also, we'll have a giant Monterey squid. This is by Safari, also from Amazon. Total project cost at this point is right around 12 bucks. I'm going to be using this plastic lid for a base, and I'm going to take some sandpaper here and just start roughing the smooth surface up. The reasoning behind this is, is when I go to prime it, I want the primer to have something to stick to. If we were just to spray it without doing the sanding, uh, chances are it would start to peel off or be easily scratched off. Once we're done sanding, we're going to prime, allow dry, and we're going to put a hole in the middle of this base. I'm going to use a drill when doing this. Again, uh, practice safety. If you need to wear glasses, gloves, go ahead and do so. Also, make sure that the surface you're drilling isn't your new countertops. I'll be taking the acrylic rod and putting it through the freshly drilled hole of the base. To add some support, I'm going to take two washers and put one on the top and one on the bottom and super glue those. I'm also going to add two additional washers to the side and super glue as well. That's just going to add balance and give it a little bit more weight. I'm going to add some cork board to the base just to liven things up a little bit. This is a big base. I'm also going to use some earth texture just to give some grittiness to it. Right now, remember we have a smooth surface, so I'm just going to apply this. If you don't have this, I've used this previously in some of my other projects. And again, you can use some craft sand or any other flocking that you'd like to use. And once we get done, we're going to put that all over, even over the cork, and it should come out looking something like this. Allow it to dry, and then we'll come back to it. We're going to be giving the model an acetone bath for the next step of the project. We are going to play with some chemicals here, so we want to make sure to wear chemical-resistant gloves, respirator, maybe take this outside, and of course avoid any open flame. Another note here, the model is a rubber model, so the longer it's in that, the more it's going to break down. I had the model in for just a few minutes and the tentacles came off. That's okay. These are wire. I'm just going to trim them, put them back into the model, and just secure it with E6000. Next, I'll be priming the model. I'm going to put it in front of a fan and allow that several hours just to cure. I'm going to be taking two pieces of hard packaging plastic. And I'm going to put a hole in both of these. The first one here on top, I'm going to cut to fit over the squid. The second piece, I'm just going to put a very small hole. That's going to be enough for the acrylic rod to fit through it. I'm going to be using this soft and crafty polyfill for the next step of the project. I have a piece of hard plastic packaging that I'll be using for support. I'm just taking some hot glue and running it across the surface. We want to make sure the glue is good and hot because we're going to need a few seconds to work with it. And I'm just going to take the batting and start putting that down over. Be careful the glue is still hot. One other note here is the batting will be kind of pressed down so you may want to kind of pick it out a little bit. Remember we want to mimic clouds. Make sure we get a good stick. And then we're going to swap down to the bottom of it and just repeat the same steps. We'll run the hot glue over the surface again. And then we'll take our polyfill and start applying that to the surface as well. Now there are clouds have been built. I'm just going to start painting them with this black spray primer. I'm using nice light coats for this. We want to build to a good consistency. I'll be taking the smaller of the cloud sections and putting it over the acrylic rod like so. Then I'll be drilling a hole in the back of the squid. I want to make the hole wide enough so that it fits securely on top of the acrylic rod. And then I'll be taking that bigger part of the plastic packaging and just fitting that over the squid. We don't want to glue anything down until we get the proper spacing. 
Uh, once we've kind of decided where we want everything, it should kind of look something like this. We can go ahead and use some hot glue and fasten that all together. To give the clown some more depth, I'm taking some additional polyfill that I've pre-painted and I'm just tearing off a clump like so. And then I'll just be adding it to the structure we created earlier and hot gluing that down. I'll be adding some burnt umber to the base, allow that to dry, then going over it lightly with a dry brush of butter pecan. To add some more flavor to the base, I'll be adding some Vallejo pigments. And then, just to finish everything off, I'll be doing some flocking. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I greatly appreciate your viewership. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe, and follow. Uh, we are getting more and more subscribers with every episode. That really means a lot to me. As always, stay safe wherever you are, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.